Hey everybody, I'm Seth here for Newegg TV, and today I'm talking to one of the founders of OpenWRT. He's in all the way from Hungary, so you guys aren't going to want to miss this. Stay tuned. Today in the studio, we're talking to one of the creators of OpenWRT, Imre. Thank you so much for coming by. Thanks for the invite, Seth. Of course. OpenWRT has for many years been a development platform that lets users of routers customize the features beyond the firmware that came originally with the router. So tell me, what exactly is OpenWRT? OpenWRT is an embedded Linux distribution. You should imagine it like Ubuntu for your PC. So what gave you the idea in the first place to even develop something like this? Well, back in 2003, I bought a WRT54G router and uh, I found the factory possibilities quite limited. And actually that year with a few other people, we started OpenWRT as a project to achieve full customization for your firmware. Do you remember exactly where you were at the moment that you guys came up with the idea? Yeah, I do remember. I was at home. Uh, basically, by the, back that time, everyone wanted to create their own firmware. And uh, I wanted to create something as a common ground to developers to work with. After uh, trying to contact with some of these people, actually two of them were willing to work together. And this is how OpenWRT born. Do you remember some of the first things that you decided needed to be opened up on these routers, the, the first couple of customizations that were top priority for you? I wanted to have a QS, quality of service management, so mm -hmm. I can restrict bandwidths for my sister. <laughs> and actually, this was one of the features that uh, were not possible with the factory firmware. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that you push the industry forward a lot in terms of firmware too, because that sort of thing is now sort of standard. Yeah, well, some of these features are becoming standard, but uh, some of these features are still limited to a few routers. Mm -hmm. So let's look at a practical example. Let's say that I buy the Linksys WRT1900AC, take it out of the box, but I want to get even more functionality than what comes with it. How will OpenWRT help? Well, you can use 4G or 3G for your uplink. Uh, these units have uh, temperature sensors included, and you can monitor the CPU temperature, the temperature of the RAM chips and the Wi-Fi chips. You can uh, separate the VLANs, so every port can have its own network. You can create a dual WAN connection for failover purposes if you want to. If the hardware supports it, with OpenWRT you get it. So basically you're taking the firmware and you're making it as powerful as the hardware itself. Yeah, absolutely. With OpenWRT, the hardware is the limit. It sounds like there are a lot of different options when it comes to using OpenWRT. Does that mean that it's difficult to use? No, actually, uh, OpenWRT has a web interface. We even support more than 15 languages. We have a package repository. You can uh, search for packages. We support thousands of uh, different software that you can install. You can really customize and cherry pick everything for your own need. And since this is open source, does that mean this is completely free? Yeah, it's completely free. Uh, it comes free. You can download the sources or use the pre-built images. Now, if somebody wants to go and learn more about this, what's the good resource to find out more about the software and maybe get involved in the community? As a starting point, we have a website called openwrt.org. And there we have links for the wiki. In the wiki, you can find a lot of documentation about your hardware. And we have forums with a really active community who are really happy to have the newcomers. Well, it's part of the open source movement, and, and part of that seems to be that community is really open to accepting new people and accepting new ideas. Yeah, it's all about uh, giving. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and so if you really want to give, if you get really into this and have your own ideas for customization that you want to put in the firmware as well, do you guys accept kind of independent Absol developers coming in? Absolutely. Yeah. We encourage a uh, contribution. For the main firmware, we have patches uh, through the mailing list. And uh, for other packages, uh, we have a repository on GitHub that mm -hmm. you can easily clone. And then you can submit pull requests to us. So basically, you, you can clone the Git repository, branch it out, do your own thing, and then send it back to you guys, and you'll put it right back into the trunk? Absolutely. It, yeah. gets, uh, it gets available immediately for others as well. So can you tell me about the latest offerings from OpenWRT and maybe a little sneak peek about what's coming next? We are just about to release our new version called Chaos Calmer. It has uh, enhanced security, including jail support and hardened builds and package signing. We, sub uh, we added support for new targets as well. And uh, we have pretty much full support for IPv6 networks, including the latest and greatest specifications out there. Well, cool. I can't wait to check it out once you guys release it. Imre, thank you so much for stopping by and for providing this invaluable free resource to the community for over 12 years. 
Thank you very much for the invite, Seth. Yeah, anytime. For New Egg TV, I'm Seth Rotkin. See you guys next time.